Hi guys and welcome back to this week's My Halifax. My name is Adam Cooper. We are at York Redoubt where we were here probably two, three years ago. We were one of our first ever seasons of My Halifax. We were about five birds per episodes in. So we came back because we actually filmed the episode in March and everything was closed. It is now the height of summer. York Redoubt is open. There's a whole other part we get to explore. And we're much better making the vlog now. So I thought it'd be just cool to come and revisit this place because it's super cool. So we're gonna go and explore. <laughs> So another reason we came back here was because we were up, um, outside a couple weeks ago so we got to go to Fort Ives and Fort McNabb and it was really cool to see kind of the relationship between those forts and York Redoubt and see how they were put together to defend the island or, and defend the city from people during the war, submarines, that kind of stuff. So coming back here now has given us a different perspective and I'm just really looking forward to kind of exploring the place again. So three years ago we made this video, the whole idea was coming here was so we could get that incredible view and uh, today we've got it because the sun is out and it's a glorious summer day but it just gives you a different perspective of what it was like to be up here and you can see what the cannons were kind of shooting at and kind of get a better feel for how they would use the uh, artillery here to defend the city plus we were right by that lighthouse two weeks ago One thing I always liked when we first came to um, York Redoubt was the fact that the 10 inch cannons are still here and they're just kind of intimidating and impressive at the same time and they're still here and they're just really cool. So it's always nice to walk around them and look at them and stuff. So we've come up to the top tower which is this radius tower which we found out a lot of information about when we were here last time. Right now Parks Canada are using it to teach people how to tent which is really cool. Um, we're going to head back down now and we're going to try and head out and get onto the trail um, and take you on the other part of your down we didn't get to show you last time we were here. So when we here three years ago in that mountain march time, um, a lot of the buildings were actually left open and you could like walk in, walk out. The only thing we couldn't get into was the tunnel. Um, it looks like they've sealed the tunnel off, which is kind of disappointing because I really want to take you guys through there. However, they have opened up the one end of the park where the trail takes you through to the side. So that's the exploration we're going to do now. I just would be really cool to go through a tunnel. Maybe one of the tunnels further down is open. I don't know, but right now I think they've closed it all up. I do get it, probably for health and safety or just to keep the buildings more preserved. But um, doesn't matter, we're still gonna have a good time. We're still gonna show you guys something new and explore the other side of your way down. So now we're kind of on a trail that is outside of your way down itself. So you've got this really cool like stone brick wall there, which is where all the guns are set up. And this is a straight out into the ocean here. This is the part we didn't get to do last time because it was so rainy and miserable and it wasn't open, we couldn't get here. So um, this is a new part of York Redoubt and I'm really glad to share it with you guys. So this is the building we saw last time, we didn't get to come here, so we're gonna check it out. Could be zombies and therefore we know. So the building is open, which is cool, because we get to go and do some, some kind of exploring. And I think when I was reading it online, because this place was used, like the actual York Redoubt was used from like the 1800s up to 1942. I think these are just barracks and places they put weapons and armories. I don't think people lived here. But it's just kind of cool to see like this is still standing. There's a lot of graffiti in here, which kind of looks cool, but obviously graffiti is never cool. So that barracks was actually really cool. I know it's full of graffiti, but it did look, kind of looks more like an art installation now than obviously what it's meant for. This is the, the actual closed part of the tunnel. It's a shame that it's closed, it would be cool to go through there, but I think they're actually trying to like rebuild part of this wall to keep it up. So that's probably why they closed it. But um, it's just cool to see like basically how the York Dad would actually function when it was being used for active duty. So we were walking the path, it kind of took a fork. The one fork takes you all the way down to the fire school and the other one takes you down to by the water. Like we're really close to the ocean right now, but there's a bit of a drop off. So we're trying to find our way down to the water, but along here there's still remnants of like old buildings. I think they're like gatehouse and posts and steps taking you to places where stuff used to be. Um, so it's kind of cool, but I think it's taking you down. There used to be an old fort right on the waterfront, Gina was telling me, but they sealed it off because it was dangerous. I think this is leading us there. So we made it to the fortress that is actually sealed off. It is unsafe, so you're not allowed in there. There's big signs up saying keep out and don't climb and parks Canada won't meet liability if you hurt yourself. So take that as a sense of do not enter the space, leave it. It's cool to look through the fence and see kind of the old fort. 
what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to where we came and go down to some steps to take us down to the waterfront and see if we can get some cool shots from there because I don't want to get hurt, I don't want Jean to get hurt, I don't want any of you guys getting hurt trying to get over this fence and go in there. <laughs> That's the end of this week's My Halifax. Once again, we came to your Dad again because we wanted to show you guys from the trails that we didn't get to cover the first time we came here three years ago. Um, definitely check out the video because it's kind of funny to see how far we've come. Um, also, some of the trails when you get close to water can get a bit treacherous and there's parts that are blocked off, so please obey all the signs and be careful when you're walking around here. No one wants to get hurt. Um, don't forget to like and comment on this video. Let us know if there's any way you think we should make a video. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd also really love it if you'd share the videos because we just want everyone to see how amazing Halifax is and we can't do that without your help. Uh, next week's gonna be a little bit of a different video because Gina and I are actually going on vacation. We're going to Cape Breton. We're still in Nova Scotia, but it's not in Halifax, but we're still gonna make a vlog for you guys, but it's gonna be called something like My Halifax on Tour. Other than that, have a great day and we'll see you next week. Hello, please, man.